Greetings. In this video, I'll be explaining the overall organization of the nervous system. Let's get started. So, the nervous system. The nervous system covers and spreads throughout the whole body. So, the whole body, 100%. The nervous system covers it. The nervous system is made up of many subsystems, or divisions. Divisions each have specific or varying functions, and can be split into, into more specific, even smaller divisions of their own. Alright, on to the overall organization of the nervous system. Here I'll be explaining the divisions of the nervous system. So at the top we have the nervous system, of course, and that splits into the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system is located in the green to the left, and you can see the brain and the spinal cord, while the blue in the right is the peripheral nervous system, and that covers pretty much the rest of the body. The central nervous system can be split into the brain and the spinal cord, and the brain contains the divisions the forebrain, the midbrain, and the hindbrain. On the other hand, the peripheral nervous system contains the somatic nervous system and the autonomic nervous system. The somatic nervous system contains the sensory nervous system and motor nervous system, or the autonomic nervous system contains a parasympathetic nervous system and sympathetic nervous system. All right, and that's the overall organization of the nervous system. Keep in mind that there will only be basic definitions in this video, and that this channel has dedicated videos for all the divisions of the nervous system, with more deep explanations in each. Let's move on to the peripheral nervous system and central nervous system. In basic terms, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system communicate with one another to get things done. The brain, which is in the central nervous system, communicates with the peripheral nervous system by sending messages down the spine to the peripheral nervous system. While the peripheral nervous system sends messages from itself to the spine and up to the brain so they can communicate. Now to the autonomic nervous system and somatic nervous system. The difference between these two is whether they control voluntary or involuntary actions, with the autonomic nervous system controlling involuntary actions and the somatic nervous system controlling voluntary ones. This means the beating of your heart would be part of the autonomic nervous system, while the movement of your hand would be part of the somatic nervous system, because this is involuntary and this is voluntary. Your sensory nervous system and motor nervous system. Your sensory nervous system is what retrieves senses from your sensory organs, like your eyes and your skin, and sends the gained information back to the brain, while your motor nervous system sends messages from your brain to your muscles, glands, and other internal organs, telling them what to do and how to perform certain actions. Finally, the parasympathetic nervous system and sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system gets the body pumped up and ready, giving you energy while the parasympathetic nervous system calms the body down and helps it relax. It's also worth mentioning that internal body functions, such as digestion, are also controlled by the parasympathetic nervous system. Well, this marks the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. This video is created by Simply Explained.